Uh, I don't remember you saying that, but... Oh. I did say this. Can you please tell them in the comments? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back with more Game of Thrones. Today we're reacting to episode 6. We're officially past the halfway mark of this season. And I am yeah. eagerly itching to get to the end of this season because people have just said that the cliffhangers are strong season by season. And I want to taste my first cliffhanger, although I'm pretty sure it's going to leave me emotionally damaged. <laughs> and that's pretty confident, but well, th nonetheless. Thankfully for us, we don't have to wait like everyone else here did when they were watching live. True, true, true. Although the rate at which we can watch definitely slowed down because yeah. we've got to record and edit, but it's probably pacing us as well. But yeah, we don't have to wait years to get to the other seasons, true. At the end of the last episode, the biggest thing that we were left with, Ned Stark was attacked by Jamie and all of his guards in a sort of ambush towards the end there. And they had a pretty cool one-on-one -on -one duel, which was, was cool and sort of them being the two almost representatives of, of the highest warriors in their fields. But Jamie's guard sort of did a bit of a shifty at the end and stabbed Ned in the leg. And I'm just curious to see where that ends up now because obviously we know Ned has the king's favour to quite a high degree, but Jamie is a king's guard and well, has the queen's favour. Well, I don't know because Ned's relationship with Rob now is on rocky territory. But is it really... Everyone said it's sort of like he's just going to forgive him. Like, yeah. They're, they're old pals. It's just annoyed that he wasn't doing what he wanted to. I don't think it's enough for him to really... No, I know, but I think this is something that's really important to Rob. Like, killing Daenerys and her brother and all the Targaryens is really something dear to his heart. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's enough to ruin their, their relationship. But we'll see. And we did get told last episode, which I thought was pretty cool, that Khal Drogo's army... The Dothraki people, that they are a very real threat to, to the people of King's Landing. Yeah. Which I would have thought that it would have been the opposite, but that's interesting because then I'm, I'm anticipating at some point a war, the biggest limiter now being the sea, which the, the Thraki people are afraid of, the water, they didn't travel the ocean before. But that was another big bombshell, sort of setting the stakes for a potential future big conflict between those people. Yeah. Well, the one thing that I'm quite curious to see, and I hope that we actually dove into it a bit this episode, because we didn't see any of the Dothraki or the Targaryens last episode. So I really want to delve... No. So I want to delve into why Jorah feels obligated to communicate with... I'm assuming, assuming it was Lord Varys, and to let them know that Daenerys has a child. She's with child. So I wonder where his motives lie, because he doesn't seem like he wants anything bad to happen to her. Like, he's been looking he, out yeah, for her. Yeah, he's been sincere, but yeah. he also wants to be able to go back home. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. So maybe that intel is what might allow him one day to come back home. Yeah, but then that undermines any capacity for her to take to the throne, which he sort of is steering Daenerys towards taking the fight on, saying that, you know, her brother can't handle it. So I wonder what game he's playing. The other thing is Ned Stark has multiple bastard children. That's all good and well. It was more that John Aaron was delving deeper into it and asking if the children were happy and healthy and whatnot. I just feel like there's more to it rather than... Yeah. Those questions. He discovered something that he wasn't supposed to do. The, the, yeah. the question is, why did he start asking questions so late? Because he's always been the Hand for a long time. So why start now? What was his goal yeah. as the Hand? And what was he discovering that was such a threat to the Crown that he was killed? Yeah. And I assume it's a lot more tied in with the Queen than it is with Rob. Potentially, Rob yeah. seems like a pretty, he's a pretty simple king, right? Whereas the Queen is really the behind-the-scenes manipulative one, playing games and, you know, got her plans of power, at, you know, happening behind the scenes. The other thing is, what's going to happen with Tyrion? He's locked up in the veil now. And Cat's sister has just lost the absolute plot, just paranoid as ever. So... Look, he'll be fine. I'm going to call yeah. it. He'll be fine. He's too important of a character, in my opinion, to end too quickly. Yeah. He's just advice to create some conflict between different houses, I think. A big thank you to all of you who support us over on our Patreon. If you do want access to full-length uncut reactions, early access to reactions, exclusive community posts, and other perks, check out our Patreon. The link is in the description.
For those of you over on our YouTube, if you enjoyed the video, give the video a like. <laughs> Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of the episode. And hit the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with all of our upcoming reactions. Because he was going to make his escape, but now he's in recovery. Yeah. Nah. That's not who you want. I like your robs there. Yeah, but it doesn't look too happy, so... I am the king's hand. Oh, you were the king's the hand. Peace and you shall now be held power. accountable. Oh, oh, well, both of you shut your mouth. <laughs> I know, literally. Lord Stark was returning drunk from a brothel when his men attacked Jamie. Quiet woman. Quiet woman. I should wear the armor and you the gown. Oh, be quiet. Damn, yeah, give her a slap, dude. She's got a big mouth. She does have a big mouth. Even with the slap, she's smiling. Damn. Silence, or I'll honor you again. Oh! <laughs> she really oh my pushing God. the buttons. Rob! I'm with the boy Robin. She earned that one. You hear me? Send a raven and put an end to it. And what about Jamie Lannister? True. Half a kingdom in debt to his bloody father. Mmm, true. I can't rule the kingdoms if the Starks and the Lannisters are at each other's throats. So enough. The wolf and the lions. I'm okay. the king. I get what I want. <laughs> Plays that trump card. Loves her. I never loved my brothers. But he loves Ned. You were the brother I chose. Got a nice friendship. Targaryen girl. Seven hells. Don't start with her again. <laughs> girl will die and I'll hear no more of it. Put on the badge. Damn. Get off again. I swear to the mother, I'll pin the damn thing on oh. Jamie Lannister. <laughs> the thing with uh, Ned is, Rob also loved his sister, so that's probably a reminder of her as well. Yeah. So extra they, they bond. Have a, good, a good bond. Yeah. And as I said, that wasn't enough to break their relationship. Not even close. Yeah. So it's been like a century or something since the dragons were around? Yeah, it's been a while. I think a while. Crazy to think compared to House of the Dragon. Khaleesi! Her hands are fine. What's Interesting. Wrong? She didn't burn. Wow. It's a sign. <laughs> She's like, what? How Interesting. Crows have been very symbolic in this as well. Especially with Bran. This is like his dream. Is it another dream? Oh yeah, it's another dream, yeah. Ah! And the third, third eye. eye. <laughs> they made it. Yeah. How exciting. They attach your father. They've already started the war. It's your duty to represent your house when your father can't. Damn. And it's not your duty. Because it's not your house. That's a little stub to the heart. So he's the grey droid right on the left. Yeah. yeah. There's Bran. Oh. Tell me his first ride goes It's not my bad. house. <sighs> to be fair, it's pretty hard to say. He was, he was hyping him up. Take yeah. charge. And then she just threw him in the bin. What the hell's that? What the hell? What the hell? All alone in the deep dark woods. That's so creepy. Yeah. Silver. You'll take the pin and the horse. Get down. He can't even get down. He can't walk. You're some kind of cripple. I'm Brandon Stark of Winterfell. If you don't let me be, I'll have you all killed. Ah. I like that response. There ain't no white walkers down in dawn. Oh. Is that wrong? Go and, like and he's a trained warrior too. <laughs> Oh, oh shit. Go on, Bran. He's lucky at armor, that would have hurt a lot more. Rob. Shut up. Drop the blade. No, don't do it. I'm gonna cry. Tell me the third the Grey Joy comes in clutch, please. I hope so. Yeah. Clean. Oh. Yo, boy, good shot. I was getting emotional there. <laughs> Are you alright? Oh, Ooh. it's a deep cut. 
Nasty gash. He would have killed you and cut Brand's throat. Don't have the right to, to what? To save your brother's life? He makes uh, a good point. He, how is he complaining? What about her? Oh, there goes that arrogance. Not so tough. We'll keep her alive. Interesting. What are they going to do with her? Oh, dude. Is this guy an idiot? Who sleeps like that? And who rolls that much? <laughs> Shit. At least start from the back. Oh man. Oh my god. Jesus. Don't have it here. Now go! What the hell? What are we in water? If you're with your trouble when fighting happens. <laughs> more trouble for you. Good lesson to learn. <laughs> She's improved. I know, look at her go. There goes Sawhood. <laughs> there is only one God, and his name is Death. <laughs> one thing we say to Death, not today. <laughs> I like this not guy. today, sir. Not today. He's one of those wise, wise men. <laughs> the hell is she? That's a heart. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, dude, I like organ meats, but not like that. For what reason? Maybe to do with the pregnancy or something? Yeah. I mean, what a trooper for doing it. I could not do that. <laughs> Drogo's proud of her, you can Hello. tell. Dude, she's come a long way. She's going to have a boy. And she had a feeling as well. You would be a true dragon. Oh. Uh, I doubt that. Yeah. <laughs> Did she throw it up? Nah. Sheldon. Poor girl, dude. That's rough. I know. Imagine the stench. Oh, dude. A raw heart. Mm. Might have been cooked. Oh, she's still chewing it. Oh, man. <laughs> Drogo's so proud. Oh. Oh, wow. Because I think now she earns their respect. Damn, she already knows the language. She's been practicing. They love her. That's a threat to him. Even Drogo loves her. Huh. So Rago will be the son's name. She truly is a queen today. Man's gone. What's he looking back on? The series, you left. Right. Wasn't happy that she's yeah. loved. Oh, he's gonna pull a shifty now. Stealing them? They don't belong to you. Whatever is hers is also mine. Once, perhaps. Not anymore. I'm the last hope of a dynasty, Mormon. He's really just out for himself. That's it. And no one has ever given me what they gave to her in that tent. Who can rule without wealth or fear or love? Daenerys. <laughs> you don't think I see you looking at my little sister? Hmm? Don't think I know what you want. I don't think you do. She can be queen of the suffrages and dine in the finest bloody horse parts and you can dine in whichever parts of her you like. I think it's got it wrong. Yeah, way wrong. You can't have the eggs. You swore an oath to me. Does loyalty mean nothing to you? It means everything to me. And yet here I stand. Interesting. Interesting. Ceres really has lost everything. Yeah. Rock bottom for him. Maud! Maud! Poor Tyrion. I oh, know. Being on a cliff edge. Can't even fall asleep safely. You want free? Go be free. Oh my goodness. Have you ever heard the phrase, rich as a Lannister? Surely. Of course you have. You're a smart <laughs> man. He's a people person, isn't he? A Lannister always pays his debts. I will owe you gold. What's gonna be? What message? Okay, game on. <laughs> <laughs> Human is battered. Tell her I wish to confess my crimes. 
Interesting. Let's see how this goes down now. Sky cells always break them. Speak, imp. Didn't break him. Where do I begin, my lords and ladies? It's gonna be the biggest troll. Can't wait. You want specifics, I suppose. Here we go. I stole her robe. She was forced to return to the castle, naked and in tears. <laughs> Close my eyes. I can still see her tits bouncing. <laughs> yes, Tyrion! I stuffed my uncle's boots with goat shit. <laughs> I blamed a squire. Poor boy was flogged and I escaped justice. Damn, <laughs> poor squire. Silence! What happened next? <laughs> you were accused of hiring a man to slay my son, Bran, in his bed. And of conspiring to murder my sister's husband. Didn't happen. You've had your little joke. I trust you enjoyed it. I think we all did. Is this how justice is oh, done in the veil? Now. now it's full sin. Where is the king's justice? I am accused and demand a trial. Here we go. Life is more elegant here. Yeah, it seems elegant, doesn't it? Oh. This kid's lost the plot. Damn. Yeah, the kid has problems. My son will listen to whatever you have to say, Bro. and you will hear his judgment. Then you will leave by one door or the other. You better tell him more of those stories. I demand a trial by combat. No way. What have you gotten your son into? No, it won't be his son. It'll be against someone else. Absolutely lost the plot. But the imp is half my size. Shameful to slaughter such a man and call it justice. Yeah, agree. Now I demand a champion. I have that right, same as you. Ooh. True. I wouldn't be too glad, sir. I name my brother, Jamie Lannister. Oh, that's a smart play. The trial will be today. What's gonna happen? That no one is willing to- I'll stand for the dwarf. Hmm. He was in the corner laughing. Yeah, he was intriguing. Okay, I wonder why. He really put everything on the line there. I thought he had a book of plan. Balls and masquerades <laughs> you like to throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rob. Those were the days. Which days exactly? Oh. For Westeros fought the other half and millions died. All before that. When the mad king slaughtered women and babies because the voices in his head told him they deserved it. Wow. Damn. I suppose it was all rather heroic. If you were drunk enough and had some poor Riverlands whore to shove your prick inside and make the eight. <laughs> so that's his brother. Yeah, we thought it was right. a son. <laughs> Damn, tell it how it is. I know. Stood up to the king. I guess it's a fair point. Why would they leave that behind? Sigil of House Tully. Oh. Taller by a foot than any man I've ever met saw him cut the blacksmith in two. Damn, brutal. Take the head off a horse with a single swing of his sword. The mountain. Yeah. Can you think of any reason for Lannisters might possibly have for being angry with your wife? Oh. I can think of a few. That would be almost as brazen as attacking the hand of the king in the streets of the capital. <laughs> he knows what's up. Assemble 100 men and ride to Sir Gregor's keep. Damn. I charge you to bring the king's justice to the false knight, Gregor Clegane. Shit. Damn, that's a big deal. Wow. He's the slave of the law. Inform Tywin Lannister that he has been summoned to court to answer for the crimes of his bannermen. Damn. Or be branded an enemy of the crown and a traitor to the realm. Damn. He's gone full sin. He's laying down the law now. Rob wanted a hand. He got a hand, dude. Holy shit. This is so... Let's see what Littlefinger has to say about this. Gold wins wars, not soldiers. Ooh. And how come Robert is king and not Tywin Lannister? That's a Ned, good point. my man. It's a good point. <laughs> I think there's an element of both, but yeah. For sure. Still a great line. All right, let's see what happens. He didn't even want a shield. Slash pretty confident. Fight! 
stupid kid, dude. Lighter without a shield. I wonder what his goal is. He's really trolling the fight. It's gonna make him fall in. Gonna get him as close to the edge. Damn, it's a risky move though. Yeah. It's gonna make him charge. Yeah. Interesting tactic. Huh. So he didn't want the shield because it would slow him down and weigh him yeah. down. Yes. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Come on. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's dominated him. Slaughtered. <laughs> he's like shocked. <laughs> Everyone's commenting, raise your sword, mate. Shush. Moment of truth. Damn. Oh, now I have mercy. Shit. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Oh, dude. Damn, what a damn drop. And the little kid's loving it. That kid. Well played. You don't fight with honor. <laughs> Tyrion's like, take me out. He did. Oh, point taken. Yeah. <laughs> this guy wants his gold. <laughs> Can I make the little man fly now? So it's a weird way to end that all that. I know. Lannister oh. always pays his debts. Tyrion, my man. So he's a man of his word. I respect that. And he full made sure that he got it back as well. Interesting. What do you care? Do you even have hair under there? <laughs> yes, I have hair. I've never seen it. Would you like to? <laughs> I don't mind her. I like her too. Yeah. I come from a very small oh, village. Wait. In a... I just realised. I don't care. What's up with Sansa? Now you are being rude. Yeah, it's pretty rough. She's actually a nice lady, dude, and she felt like honored. My lady. Ugh. Behaved monstrously the past few weeks. You don't say. This duo is not the vibe. It's gonna be no good. Uh, She's too easily swayed by her emotion. You'll be queen someday. It's only fitting you should look the part. Damn, they'll rule together. There's nothing to forgive. Sorry, what? I'll never disrespect you again. I'll never be cruel to you yeah, again. Yeah, somehow I don't know if I believe that, dude. Mm. This guy's a few too many screws loose. Well, especially with that speech from his mother. Yeah. I hope you last day soon. <laughs> but yeah. we both know it's not going to be. Yeah. That all of a sudden made her happy. Unstable. Unstable. That's like most relationships though. <laughs> Have an argument, go for dinner, oh it's all good. <laughs> Every man for a hundred miles will be marching off to war soon, and most of them will never come back. There's nothing left for me here. Yeah, fair enough. Mm, interesting. No work for her there. You see it one more time. See what? What do you reckon? <laughs> What the hell? Oh my god. That's so random, dude. Damn, I think he really likes her. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see her one more time. I <laughs> know. Oh she might be the only one that made him feel actually welcome, properly. I want you back in Winterfell for your own safety. Can we take Syria back with us? Who cares? <laughs> I'm supposed to marry Prince Joffrey. I love him. Oh, oh my god. Have his babies. Seven hells. When you're old <laughs> enough, <laughs> I'll make you a match with someone who's worthy of you. Oh, damn. Strong. I don't want someone brave and gentle and strong. I want him. He'll be the greatest <laughs> king that ever was. A golden lion. And I'll give him sons with beautiful blonde hair. Dude, how delusional is she? God damn. Go on, girls. Get your scepter and stop packing your things. Wait. Come on. But it's not fair. Nothing's ever fair, is it, Sansa? 
Oh, dude, you've got no idea how the world works. You ever know who the guy you love is? I know. Lord Oris Baratheon, black of hair. Axel Baratheon, black of hair. Lionel Baratheon, black of hair. Stefan Baratheon, black of hair. So maybe the son isn't his. Joffrey. Yeah. Joffrey Baratheon. Golden head. Black of the Uh, I don't remember you saying that, but... Boom. I did say this. Can you please tell them in the comments? Who that knows? face just looks like it's the brother's son. That's what it looks like. That oh, snob yeah. Yeah, that snobby little face. I think I was correct. <laughs> no, that, that pretty much confirms it. That's an interesting twist. And your girl figured it out. <laughs> It's nice seeing Danny happy. Where's my sister? Stop him. He's drunk. So drunk. Who is Warriors? Then you've got a series. I know. Come. Get your hands off me. No one touches the dragon. Pipe down for series. I want Drogo to go stand up and just put him in the place. The Sawfoot King. Brother, you're not equals. That is no place for a king. You are no king. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna get destroyed. There she is. But you couldn't see her this whole time? Put the sword down. They'll kill us all. They can't kill us. They can't shed <laughs> blood in there. <sighs> They'll shed yours. If he does that, it's all over for him. And he's pointing it to the stomach, to the baby. Yeah, I know. I want the crown he promised me. Mem and them Oh, I'm a good drug right He can keep the baby. I'll cut it out and leave it for him. This guy's serious. He's gonna get a beating, dude. Oh no, look how dead set he is. You shall have a golden crown that men shall tremble to behold. It's not gonna be the crown he thinks, huh? Maybe she interpreted it differently on purpose too. But that was all I wanted. What, what was promised? What the hell? He's so dumb. Yeah, maybe she did interpret it correctly. I want my crown! Ah. Shit. What are they mess doing? with the wrong people, dude. They're gonna put on his head hot. Kawig, Khaleesi. No. Oh, wow. Dude, Khaleesi's become cold. I get it, he threatened her baby, but... No. Oh, That'll kill him. Daddy, please! Round four, king. Oh! Look at him looking at his eyes too. Holy shit! He's dead. Fire cannot kill a dragon. Dude, Galicia's become cold. What a damn episode. Damn, Khaleesi has become, like, I respect that she's really grown as a yeah. ruler. But big growth for her to literally outgrow her brother. I mean, I'm glad he's gone. I was sick of him, to be honest. He was quite annoying. He was like this little rat in the corner just, like, annoying you. Yeah, shit, okay, damn, that happened. Death by fire, death by gold. I hated gold. And damn. Drogo, I love even the way he talks with this defiant authority. He's like... Brother, you bucked down the wrong tree. But he's so patient and just calm and he talks with strength. He's an experienced warrior. He's not just throwing a tantrum like the series was, you know? Yeah. Oh, man. How the House of Targaryen has fallen, dude. Well, Rob doesn't have to worry about killing the series now. I don't think he ever cared about the series that much. It was more about the next baby in line. But yeah. yeah. Especially, she, he's more afraid because they've united with the Dothraki. They're the real threat. Yeah. Damn, watching this alongside House of the Dragon is really interesting because it's like the Targaryen Empire. It's just so glorified and yeah, it's having its up and down, ups and downs we're up to, but still so powerful and so much. And then you see it at this point, it's like barely standing by a thread. It's got one, one, one girl left. Yeah, a girl and her baby. Unborn child, like damn. Jeez, all right. But yeah, she's got a point because she didn't get burnt. So yeah. Oof. Ned Stark also made a real big call, calling in the head of the Lannisters to the crown. I mean, Rob's going to side with the Lannisters because they're paying coin, I presume. Yeah. He sort of made that clear. So I wonder what Ned's goal is here, but he's really 
unless he can make evident that Joffrey isn't Rob's biological son. I think that's going to be the whole, like, point now. I think he's, he's going to be there to prove it, and it's going to be a dangerous task to prove, but, yeah, everything's going to turn on its head soon. And that's why the hand was looking at all the bastard children, because they've all got black hair. Yeah. Even the baby, they all had dark hair. The only one with golden hair is Joffrey. Yeah. Damn, so the hand was on to it, dude. He just should have employed Ned on his side. I know. Damn. And your girl was on to it before Ned was. Because that delegitimizes Joffrey's claim to the throne completely. Oh, yeah, completely. Oh, wow, true. But I've just got this feeling that something bad will happen to Rob before that can happen. I don't know. Do you mean Ned or Rob? No, Rob. I just okay. don't feel like... Yeah, it'd be too early to legitimise Joffrey. I think there's too much potential in his character mm. for this story. And, you know, yeah, it's too early on. But who knows? I'm not sure. That's just that's my thinking. I really enjoyed Tyrion this episode. I think every time he's on the screen, it's always a really good interaction with no matter what character he's conversing with. Yeah, he just always has fantastic lines. Even his facial expressions, he like really commits to everything. So he's fun to watch. Yeah. But I wonder why that guy stepped in on Tyrion's behalf and then he left with him. I mean, yeah. I guess that there's no place for him to stay anymore after he went against Jon Arryn. There's a lot more for us to learn about this character. There are so many characters in this, and it is honestly, like, a lot to come up with, for sure. Yeah. We're, like, prepping before the episode, just trying to remember faces and stuff, because <laughs> um, it's a lot, and it's it's a, but it's a great world building. Yeah. But definitely for an initial season, it's a lot to keep up with, especially name-wise. Like, damn, I'm bad with names as it is. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it's just been another story, a lot of stories. Sansa, I don't know, she's just very... Typ- a typical naive young girl. Yeah, yeah, and... <laughs> Very bratty about it as well. I mean, she was rude to... I don't know what that older lady is called that, like, sews with her. But she was so rude to her. And then as soon as Joffrey walks in... But you know what's going to be funny? If we everyone finds out that Joffrey is not meant to be next in line for the throne, that's why she loves him. That's why Sansa loves him. So... Once that's out in the open... I think she also loves the fact that she could be important to something meaningful. But she won't be important, is the point. Well, she, you know, we don't, I don't know that. She might still like to be betrothed to him as something special. I mean, he's still a rich land as a family, right? He's still he's not like he's just yeah. worthless. Yeah. I don't think she's just in love with the crown. I think it was the idea of being special, and that was the benefit. Part of it, I was like Joffrey, but she obviously doesn't know anything about him, who he is, nothing about it. But I don't think it's that black and white. I think she just loved, like you said, her status that would come with marrying him. That's why I saw it. Partly. They do uh, suit each other in terms of, like, they're both very sort of bratty and entitled. So I can imagine them being a, a pretty rough couple for <laughs> to watch. But Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed our reaction. Remember to leave a like if you did and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you know when our next Game of Thrones upload comes out. Until then, take care of yourselves and we'll see you guys next time. See you guys.